Yeah, I think a lot of people are seeing a lot of um, pressure, a lot of forecasters see pressure to uh, adopt new data or new tools or new techniques. I think the, the, the biggest challenge um, that, that people see with it is how to take all, all these new techniques and think about how to operationalize them. Uh, it's really important when we forecast that we can repeat the analysis in a predictable way every time. Uh, one of the questions we'll, we'll get asked every time by a decision maker when they see a new forecast is, what's changed since last time? in this analysis and, and how did you get to confidence that this is the right number for us with the new information that we have. And so new techniques that might um, blur the line in terms of how, how we took our inputs and how we got to our outputs, if that's not as clear as it used to be in the more traditional forecasting logic, um, I, I think it's going to be hard for us to communicate those results. And so organizations that figure out how to balance the communication of, of these new advanced techniques with the uh, traditional insight and wisdom that forecasters have, I think they'll be the ones that best use the new techniques to make good decisions. Yeah, I think it's going to be a balance. Um, there's there's going to need to be parts of the organization that are ready to ad adopt new techniques and parts that aren't. And companies are going to have to find that right balance um, and think about where can we apply it, where is the data rich enough to do it, where is it not. And I think breaking through that, it's going to be a bit of a journey too as people figure out how to do it and how to blend insight with some of these advanced techniques. There's never going to be a time where judgment isn't important in forecasting and the blend of the two is going to be critical.